All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my results from day two and three, only because I tried to record day two and it just did not come out properly, it, whatever. So unfortunately these are gonna be a combined video, but hopefully you get some instant gratification from the fact that you get two days for the price of one. So I'm just gonna run you through, uh, starting day two, um, I was down 2.3 pounds after the first day. Again, most of this weight that you're gonna lose on an egg fast is water weight, but that's okay because it feels good to lose that water weight. You feel less bloated, obviously, but also this is gonna put you into a really good um, jumping off point for a good ketogenic diet. Um, it also tends to put you in, for me at least, puts me into ketosis really quickly as well. So I can already feel the side effects of it. Like I told you yesterday, I have a headache. So um, actually the headache's kind of gone. It went away halfway through the day. But anyway, so 2.3 pounds down um, after one day, that's awesome. And then I, um, so I have my Bulletproof coffee for breakfast. That's what I do on most days. I tend to not eat breakfast. I really do enjoy having like a fat fast, which is the Bulletproof coffee and then maybe another coffee later. So I had one tablespoon of butter, one one tablespoon of MCT oil, and that's all I had had for my breakfast. Um, a little bit later in the afternoon, I did end up having another cup of Bulletproof coffee, same measurements of stuff in there, and then I made myself scrambled eggs. So I had three scrambled eggs with a tablespoon of butter in it. It was delicious. Just a little salt and pepper, that's all you need. Uh, later on, I went to the gym, and I had to force myself to really go to the gym. And I love going to the gym, but I've been in kind of a weird funk, and I'm pretty sure part of it is because I haven't been eating so well, so I'm kind of embarrassed about letting myself go a little bit because I am such a gym person. But that's kind of backwards thinking about being like, I don't want to go to the gym because I look like I've gained weight, which nobody's judging you, I promise. It's just you judging yourself. But anyway, I made it to the gym. I had a great shoulder workout. My endurance was still there. I worked up a great sweat. It felt awesome. Um, I came home, I made dinner for me and Dean, and we had omelets. So we did three eggs per omelet with an ounce of cheese in each one of those. And then I also had um, three pieces of cheese throughout the day as well. So I did the, the six, six, six one, like we talked about. So six ounces of cheese, six tablespoons of fat, and six eggs total. I felt good, I slept well. I did, I was a lot more thirsty, which is pretty typical when you're getting back into ketosis. And it's also good because you're supposed to be staying really hydrated. So I drank close to 100 ounces of water yesterday, no lie. And I did have a diet soda. I feel no shame about having a diet soda once in a while. I don't have them all day long. It, like, it does break up the monotony of having, you know, just eggs and just water all day long. So I don't think it's a problem. If it does affect you differently, just be careful and be aware of that. But for me, I am not giving up my one diet soda a day. So there you go. So going into day three, which is today for me, um, I was down another 2.4 pounds, I believe, or 2.6. I can't even remember, honestly. I wrote it all down and then I forgot to bring it to you. So all said, I can tell you that I'm, I've lost over five pounds in the two days. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. So when I've done this before, the very first time, like I said, I lost seven pounds. The second time I lost five pounds. And I think the first time I did it, I followed the I breathe, I'm hungry plan religiously because I wanted to make sure like I didn't burn out on eggs. I tried new things. I had the snickerdoodle crepes and everything. And it was, it was really good. By the second time I did it, I didn't want to put all that extra effort in. And what I kind of found is that for me, keeping it as simple as possible actually works better for me. When I'm given too many options, and I don't know if anybody else out there is like this, but when I'm given too many options, that's when I tend to go off the rails or tend to make an exception or think I'm eating a little bit less than I am or whatever. Sometimes by limiting the choices you have, just temporarily even, you end up having better results. That's just for me. Do your own thing. But I can tell you that come Tuesday, sorry, yeah, to, uh, whatever day it is that I'm gonna have my first meal that's not just eggs I am going to have a steak and I'm probably gonna have a Caesar salad but that's so basic and I'm looking forward to a very simplistic approach to my first meal and not something like oh my gosh I've got to go wild with it so do you do what feels right but for me simple works better so today I ended up having my bulletproof coffee first thing in the morning like I said most mornings I do that one tablespoon of butter one tablespoon of MCT oils there you go um, I also did have two pieces of cheese, so two ounces of cheese with my coffee this morning. And then I did have egg salad with three eggs and the tablespoon of uh, mayonnaise for lunch today. So I'm about to go eat my dinner. I'm gonna have scrambled eggs again because I like scrambled eggs. I know they're super simple. Dean might want to have his eggs fried in butter, but 
whatever, again, whatever you like, whatever's inventive for you. I'm not gonna get fancy with it. It's gonna be simple. I worked all day. I just wanna eat eggs and go to bed. Overall, I feel great. I haven't lost any energy. I haven't lost any endurance. My sleeping patterns are really good. And plus it just feels good to be back on track. So anyway, if you have any questions about the egg fast that I haven't answered, please feel free to comment below. I'm also doing this, as you know, with several other YouTube channels, which I'm gonna make sure that you guys have the information on so you can look at their videos too, because I want you to see how different people react to it and maybe what they did that was different than me and vice versa, because you might find what I'm doing doesn't work for you. You might wanna do the snickerdoodle crepes and all that stuff, and it is good, but it just does, it's not my favorite way to go about it. But I really want you to go support these other channels. They're really, really awesome. Everybody has a different approach, and that's why I'm loving that we're doing this together so you can see it all. So again, if you have questions, you wanna just send me some encouragement, send the other ladies some encouragement, by all means, I love to hear from you. And even if it's not questions about the egg fast, you can always comment anyway. Just be respectful, that's all I ask. So anyway, until tomorrow, day four, I will go eat my eggs and uh, hope that you're giving me good thoughts on maybe some more weight loss or maybe just a good night's sleep. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.